So can confirm here, we are officially back on the pre-workout. Call it whatever you want, call it imposter syndrome, call it. Nothing I say ever makes sense when I try and vlog this early, but. You wake up, you put the time in, you go to work. It's, it's so weird. Did I leave the camera running this whole time? Pointed conveniently at the door? I'm just kidding around, but how's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to, to Shred School, the section of my channel dedicated to tracking my journey into getting into hopefully the best shape of my life while also being slowly worked to death as a medical student. It's about 5.30 right now, just getting back from the hospital and the cut's been going good so far. The working out's been going okay. We got two big problems that came up that we are gonna talk about in this video. Two big problems that came up as it goes to trying to get into amazing shape when you're here in medical school. But we have like eight different things to do tonight and at least two of them involve working out. So we're gonna get moving. Let's go grab something to eat and then we'll get started with our first workout. So we're on month one. Officially, it was one month yesterday that we started doing the cut and everything's been going well. I feel like I'm really starting to lean out. Uh, and a big part of that has been the diet. So lately, I've been doing a lot of a lot of chicken. This is what my meals have been like lately. Got a little bit of salad, uh, some rice and some chicken, but we've been really, really busy in the hospital. If you guys have been following my other vlogs, my more medically related vlogs, I just finished surgery. Right now I'm on internal medicine. So meal prep has been such a big part of it. One week I'll do fish, one week I'll do chicken. Always a lean protein. Then some carbs for dinner, a little bit of salad that I'll pick up from the store. Pretty boring, but it's been working so far. Okay, so let's start off now by talking about the biggest problem that I've realized so far in terms of working out and trying to get into awesome shape here in medical school. And that's just that my energy levels have been way down recently. And I think the problem there is basically twofold. On the one hand, I'm really not getting much sleep. It's been really inconsistent lately. When I was on surgery, average was between four and six hours per night, but four hours per night was way more common than I wanted it to be. But then also it's just a little bit of the caloric deficit too. And I'm not on such a heavy caloric deficit, but even with around negative 100 or negative 150 calories per day, after a while, this is really the point where I first start to notice it. So can confirm here, we are officially back on the pre-workout. Um, and it's because I've just been so tired lately after coming back from work and then the studying and everything like that. Anyways, this is the, this is the Walmart brand we are gonna do I don't like having too much because then I get a headache, but uh, a half a scoop and uh, I think we're training chest today. So the plan with working out during my cut has been to stay consistent and try my best to lift heavy. Now it's been hard because the gyms have been closed down with all the COVID restrictions, but just recently I was able to buy a bench on Kijiji, was really excited about that. And even though I'm going heavy, I always try my best to do a warm up set before my actual main set. So I'll start off with a stretch and then you'll see here doing the dumbbell bench press. First, I'll start off with the 50s before eventually moving it up to 75. Now these are some older weights. I know it says that they're only 70 pounds, but either I lost a ton of strength now that the gyms have been closed or these are actually a lot heavier than 70 pounds now in addition to the weights and even though i actually prefer weights i still try my best to get in some calisthenic movements as well whether i'm training upper body or lower body i think things like push-ups dips squats with body weight are so so important and then finally in this last clip here you'll see me trying to do some sort of bench press and the problem with doing bench press when you don't have the setup is that not only do you need to be able to put the weight up on your chest by yourself but you always need to maintain some strength at the end just so that it doesn't crush you afterwards and you could actually safely get it off you without a rack. So we're gonna finish up today with just a little bit of weighted cardio. Um, I have this really awesome trail not too far from my house, like a 10 minute drive. 
and I just found out about it pretty recently, but it's like one of my favorite places now. And you'll see why in just a second, but it's where the Niagara firefighters come to train sometimes, seeing them walk up and down through the trail. And there's this really steep like staircase. I'll show you guys. So the route that I take to get here is about one kilometer from where I park my car, but then the best part is this. And the coolest part is that if you follow those rapids right there and you keep going all the way back, it eventually leads to the base of Niagara Falls, which I don't know. I went to the undergrad in Toronto and Toronto is really nice, but this is really cool just to have this so close to home and be able to come do your cardio right at the base of Niagara Falls. That's that's really awesome and definitely motivated for cardio because you guys know, you know, cardio, it's important, but you know. But anyways, guys, at the beginning of the video, I told you that there's been two really, really hard things, really hard things as, as far as trying to stay in shape and doing this series and trying to get into the best, best shape of my life here in medical school. And the first was that, yes, being tired and working at the hospital and still trying to find the energy to do this. But I think the even more difficult thing is that I've been noticing a lot lately and call it whatever you want, call it imposter syndrome, call it whatever, but you really start to feel guilty when it comes to doing things that are not specifically geared towards medicine. Even though I only took an hour and a half, two hours today to work out and I'm gonna be on call all day tomorrow. So that's from like eight to 11 o'clock at night. You just start thinking, you know, could this two hours have been better spent doing something else, studying? Could I have answered more questions in my, in my question bank? Could I have gone over that lecture one more time? And I think what I've decided anyways is that to me, this is just something that's really, really important. I think it makes me better in terms of being engaged fully when I'm actually studying, when I'm actually in school. And I think uh, that's the takeaway that I wanted this video to have, that not only is it possible for you guys to do things outside of studying, but to a certain degree, I think it's necessary. Not that you're gonna spend all of your time or even a majority of time, because the vast majority of time we are studying and we are in the hospital doing things, but I think it is super important to do things and get out there, take some time for yourself and just enjoy things, you know? The hardest part is always going back up. I guess that's why the firefighters come here. Whew. Oh, shit. <laughs> So I think that's going to be it for me in terms of filming things tonight and, uh, and working out and doing things like that. It's time to study, time to get serious. The internal medicine exam, that's the rotation that I'm on right now, internal medicine um, is notorious for being one of the harder exams in all of clerkship. And uh, even though it's still like three or four weeks away from me at this point, uh, I really think that I'm going to have to be studying a lot. So that's going to be what tonight's about. They gave us this book today, by the way. This is our internal medicine guide. Well, technically it's the resident survival guide. But this is a little book with everything that you need to know in terms of algorithms. This is the book on how to be a doctor. And we're going to go through as much of it as we can, I guess. Now, the added benefit of pre-workout is that, at least for me, I noticed that it's still kind of in my system um, two or three hours after I took it. So at least we're going to have a ton of energy to study. Time to get to work. Morning guys, I feel like nothing I say ever makes sense when I try and vlog this early, but um, i eat this breakfast and then we're gonna go downstairs and train legs and then get to the hospital.
You guys ready to see a really ugly stretch? So just got out of internal medicine first night on call. It felt really good on today's shift. Um, you know, I, I'm a little bit of a slow start when it comes to new rotations, but uh, it's been a full week, so I'm really starting to find the groove for internal medicine. And uh, tonight was a good shift. I felt on top of the game the entire time. I was answering questions that the preceptor was asking, and I really knew just what was going on with the different patients. So today was, a, was an awesome day. But anyways, uh, I'm wrapping up this video because uh, it's Friday night. I'm gonna take this weekend, tomorrow anyways, to do some editing and, and get a little bit of rest done. And then Sunday, I'll get back to work. And uh, I think this video accomplished what I wanted to. And that is to motivate you guys to just go out there and just kick ass and do whatever it is that you got going on. Because um, at the end of the day, I'm doing it and uh, I'm not special. You wake up, you put the time in, you go to work and you set your goals and slowly you accomplish them. And, and that's all we could really do. And I wish you guys the best. But uh, let me know. Let me know how everything's going with you. If you got anything cool going on right now, I'd love to hear about it too. But uh, we will see you guys all in the next one. And uh, everyone take care. See ya.